China has just revealed a fighter jet so fast that it challenges everything we know about aviation. This hypersonic aircraft moves beyond the limits of modern technology, making traditional jets seem slow in comparison. It is impossible to intercept and can reach 4,000 miles per hour. Experts are shocked by how advanced it is and the world is now questioning what China has developed. The true capabilities of this jet remain a mystery. So what is this jet capable of? In this video, we will reveal China's new hypersonic jet that reached the speed of light. Welcome to the Nature Discoveries channel. Our mission is to provide viewers with a deeper, more immersive understanding of various religious and spiritual teachings. We strive to educate and enlighten people from all walks of life by presenting these messages in a cinematic and accessible format. We also aim to make our content inclusive by providing professional transcription services, ensuring that those with hearing disabilities can fully engage with our material. As per reports, Chinese scientists have pushed technology limits to create a hypersonic missile which is capable of withstanding extreme heat. China has just revealed a fighter jet so fast that it challenges everything we know about aviation. This hypersonic aircraft moves beyond the limits of modern technology, making traditional jets seem slow in comparison. It is impossible to intercept. Although slower than ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles travel at speeds and can reach 4,000 miles per hour. Experts are shocked by how advanced it is and the world is now questioning what China has developed. The true capabilities of this jet remain a mystery. So what is this jet capable of? In this video, we will reveal China's new hypersonic jet that reached the speed of light. Standout features of the hypersonic jet. China's new hypersonic fighter jet is built for extreme speed and performance, pushing past the limits of what current aircraft can do. This jet is not just faster than traditional fighter jets, it is in an entirely different category. With the ability to travel at hypersonic speeds, it outmatches anything currently in operation. The key to its performance lies in its powerful engine system, advanced materials and cutting-edge design, all of which have been developed to withstand the intense conditions of hypersonic flight. One of the most impressive features of this jet is its speed. While most fighter jets operate at supersonic speeds, this aircraft is designed to reach hypersonic levels, which means it flies at speeds greater than Mach 5. To put this into perspective, Mach 5 is five times the speed of sound, which is around 3,836 miles per hour or 6,174 kilometers per hour. This means it could cross entire continents in minutes rather than hours. Such speeds make it nearly impossible for enemy defense systems to react in time, giving it a massive advantage in military operations. There's more to find out. Stay tuned for more details. At such extreme speeds, air resistance becomes a major challenge. When an aircraft moves at hypersonic speeds, the friction between the jet surface and the surrounding air creates intense heat. The temperatures can rise beyond 1,500 degrees Celsius, which would melt most conventional materials. To prevent this, engineers have used special heat-resistant materials that can endure these extreme temperatures without breaking down. Researchers from Britain and China have developed a ceramic material that could be used as a coating for hypersonic planes, allowing them to withstand the extreme temperatures generated by flying at hypersonic speed. These materials not only protect the jet, but also keep it lightweight and efficient. The propulsion system is what makes this jet so powerful. Standard fighter jets use traditional jet engines that rely on compressed air and fuel combustion. While these work well at lower speeds, they are not capable of sustaining hypersonic flight. This aircraft, however, is designed with an advanced propulsion system that allows it to transition smoothly between different flight phases. At lower speeds, it functions like a regular jet, using turbojet engines for takeoff and initial acceleration. As the speed increases, it switches to rocket-assisted propulsion, and once it reaches supersonic speeds, ramjet engines take over. Ramjet engines are designed specifically for high-speed flight. Unlike traditional engines, they have no moving parts and rely on the aircraft's forward motion to compress incoming air before igniting the fuel. This makes them extremely efficient at hypersonic speeds. However, ramjets do not work at low speeds, which is why the jet uses a combination of different propulsion systems. This allows for a seamless transition from takeoff to hypersonic flight without the need for external boosters or launch systems. Developing such a complex engine system took years of research and testing. Engineers had to design components that could handle the extreme forces generated at hypersonic speeds while still remaining lightweight and efficient. 
The materials used in the engine had to be heat-resistant and capable of withstanding rapid temperature changes without expanding or breaking apart. Through advanced computer simulations and prototype testing, they were able to refine the design until they achieved a working system. Aerodynamics also played a huge role in the development of this jet. At hypersonic speeds, airflow behaves differently than at lower speeds. The jet's shape had to be carefully designed to minimize drag and maintain stability. The sleek, streamlined body reduces air resistance, while specially designed control surfaces help maintain balance and maneuverability even at extreme velocities. Every aspect of the aircraft's shape has been optimized to ensure it remains efficient and stable throughout its flight. Another major factor is the jet's stealth capability. Traditional radar systems struggle to track hypersonic objects because they move too fast for detection systems to process in real time. The heat generated by the jet could make it visible on infrared sensors, but engineers have worked on ways to reduce this thermal signature. Special coatings and heat management systems help minimize the jet's detectability, making it harder for enemy forces to track or target it. The cockpit and control systems have also been designed with precision. Pilots operating at hypersonic speeds need highly responsive controls that allow for quick adjustments. The aircraft is equipped with advanced avionics and flight control systems that help maintain stability even in extreme conditions. High-speed data processing ensures that the pilot receives real-time information without delays, which is crucial when flying at such intense speeds. Beyond military use, hypersonic technology has the potential to change air travel as well. If the same engineering principles used in this jet were applied to commercial aviation, passenger flights could be significantly faster. Trips that currently take hours could be completed in a fraction of the time. For example, a flight from New York to Tokyo, which normally takes over 13 hours, could be completed in under two hours. This would completely change how people travel across the world. Countries advancing hypersonic jet technology. The development of this jet has intensified global competition in hypersonic technology. This test, widely reported in defense circles, confirms that China is advancing rapidly in the field of hypersonic technology. Other countries, including the United States and Russia, are working on their own hypersonic aircraft projects. In the US, companies like Lockheed Martin and Boeing are developing next-generation hypersonic aircraft with military and commercial applications. Russia has also made significant progress focusing on hypersonic missiles and high-speed reconnaissance aircraft. The race to master hypersonic flight is not just about military power, but also about pushing the boundaries of aerospace technology. There are also potential applications beyond Earth. Hypersonic aircraft could make space travel more accessible by providing a faster and more efficient way to reach orbit. Current rocket launches require massive amounts of fuel and complex staging systems. A reusable hypersonic vehicle could reduce these costs and make space travel more practical for both scientific missions and commercial ventures. This jet represents a new level of engineering, combining speed, efficiency and precision in a way that was once thought impossible. This is the major reason some countries were quick to jump on the idea. The push for hypersonic jets is not limited to one country. Around the world, nations are investing heavily in research and development to create their own high-speed aircraft. While China's Chong No. 1 has gained international attention, other countries are also working on similar projects. From military applications to commercial travel, governments and private companies are racing to develop hypersonic technology that could change global transportation and defense strategies. The United States has been one of the strongest supporters of hypersonic flight, investing billions of dollars into research. Both NASA and the U.S. Department of Defense are working on multiple projects aimed at developing hypersonic aircraft and weapons. Companies like Hermes and Stratolaunch are leading efforts in the private sector, focusing on high-speed passenger jets and military vehicles. NASA's work on the X-59, which is designed to reduce the impact of sonic booms, is also an important step toward making supersonic and hypersonic travel more practical. The U.S. Air Force has been testing various hypersonic prototypes, including the Lockheed Martin X-51 A Wave Rider, which reached speeds above Mach 5 in test flight. Russia is another key player in hypersonic technology, focusing primarily on military applications. The country has developed advanced hypersonic weapons, such as the Avangard Glide Vehicle and the Kinzhal Missile, which are designed to travel at extreme speeds and evade enemy defenses. Russian engineers have also explored hypersonic passenger aircraft concepts, though most of their progress has been in military systems. The government has made hypersonic research a top priority, believing it gives them a strategic advantage in modern warfare. 
France has taken significant steps in hypersonic research, particularly through its VMAX program. The project is focused on developing maneuverable hypersonic vehicles that could be used for both defense and aerospace applications. France's work in this field is closely linked to the European Space Agency, which is also exploring the potential of hypersonic flight. As a leading country in aerospace technology, France's involvement signals Europe's growing interest in high-speed aviation. India is rapidly expanding its hypersonic capabilities, primarily through its hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, HTDV. The Indian government has emphasized self-reliance in defense technology, and the HSTDV is a key part of that strategy. The country has successfully tested hypersonic technology and is aiming to develop its own high-speed missiles and aircraft in the near future. The project aligns with India's broader efforts to strengthen its military capabilities while also exploring the commercial potential of hypersonic flight. Australia has also joined the global hypersonic race, working closely with the United States on projects like the Hypersonic International Flight Research Experimentation HiFire program. Australian researchers have contributed to the development of scramjet engines, which are essential for sustained hypersonic travel. The country sees hypersonic technology as a way to enhance both defense and space exploration efforts. Japan has begun investing in hypersonic research as well, primarily focusing on defense applications. The country is developing high-speed glide vehicles and is considering future hypersonic passenger aircraft. Japan's aerospace industry has long been known for innovation, and its work in hypersonic flight could lead to new advancements in both military and civilian aviation. Several other countries, including Germany, the United Kingdom and Canada, are also exploring hypersonic technology. While not as advanced as the leading nations, they are investing in research and partnerships to stay competitive. The global interest in hypersonic jets shows that this technology is not just a passing trend, but a major focus for the future of aviation. The next part of the video will change everything you're thinking. Certain problems of hypersonic jets. Countries with strict rules about noise pollution are unlikely to allow hypersonic jets like China's Enchang. These jets generate a sonic boom that is much louder than what supersonic aircraft like the Concorde created. When a plane breaks the sound barrier, it sends out a shockwave that can sound like a loud explosion. This was a major reason why the Concorde was banned from flying over many populated areas, forcing it to stick to routes over oceans. The problem with hypersonic jets is that their booms are even more intense, making it harder to gain approval for them to fly over countries with tough noise regulation. That is why countries like the United States and those in the European Union have been hesitant about allowing hypersonic jets in their skies. Aviation authorities in these regions enforce strict policies to limit noise pollution, making it difficult for aircraft that produce extreme sonic booms to gain approval. Even NASA is working on its X-59 program to reduce noise levels for supersonic travel, but adapting that technology to hypersonic speeds is an entirely different challenge. Without a breakthrough that significantly reduces noise, many countries may continue to reject these jets, especially for flights over land where millions of people could be affected. The environmental impact is another major reason why certain countries are against hypersonic jets. Wildlife reserves, national parks and protected ecosystems are sensitive to loud noise disturbances. Countries like Canada and Australia, which prioritize environmental conservation, are less likely to approve hypersonic flights that could disrupt natural habitats. The extreme heat generated at hypersonic speeds also raises concerns about material durability and maintenance costs, making these jets an expensive and impractical option for many nations. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.